Good morning on my way to work. I wanted to talk about a comment I got on one of my silver videos. It was a very good comment. Um, he basically says a lot of the new silver stackers, and I don't have the uh, comment with me, so I'm going to just paraphrase what he says. Um, I think his name was Ty Dell or Ty Bell or... I apologize if you're watching. I will correct myself when I get home through uh, the magic of photo or video editing. But he, he mentioned that a lot of the new silver stackers do not know what we think they know. Meaning he, he believes that um, we, uh, us people who've been stacking silver for quite some time, talk above their um, their comfort, their comfort, not their knowledge, uh, their baseline, so to speak. And he wanted me to dumb it down a little bit. And he gave me some good points. One point is he doesn't understand why anybody would pay a buck or two premium for Silver Eagles. And um, and that because it's the, the 90 eight percent of the people the human population do not know does not know what a silver eagle is and I want to clarify why I buy silver eagles now for each country I need to start out by saying for each country you have your own coin I recommend buying that coin as a primary stack for example in Canada, you have the, the maple leaves. So in Canada, I would believe that your maple leaf is more recognizable than the silver eagle by a small margin. Vice versa here. In, in the United States, our American eagle is more recognizable. So in each of your countries, I recommend stacking that coin that your government mints as your primary stack and then stack a few of the other things around you to have a you know a variation so to speak so why pay the buck or two premium for a silver eagle Tidell and I, I again I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly I just quickly uh, read your comment before jumping in my car to um, to drive to work. I'm paying a buck or two extra. First of all, you're gonna pay a, a dollar or two extra for even silver bars, unless they're on sale. And yes, you're gonna pay a slightly higher premium than bars for a silver eagle. What I'm doing is I'm paying for that notoriety. I'm paying for that recognition of that coin. You made a good comment that 98% of the people do not know what a silver brown or silver bar is, they have no clue what it is. And that's okay, because I'm still going with something that's more recognizable. You say that your, your point, is, in my opinion, is invalid. So what are you going to get? You're going to get a generic round, which has even less recognition, just to appease the 98% of the people who do not know what silver is. Either way, they're not going to know what the coin is, right? So you might as well do it the right way and get the one at least that will appease the 2% that, that knows what silver is. Another thing. I really don't believe you need to worry about the 98% of the people who do not need, who do not know what silver is right now. Two variables, two reasons why. Slowly people are waking up. They truly are to what silver is. I almost got 10,000 subscribers. Whether those 10,000 sub subscribers do not believe in stacking silver, believe it or not, have woken up. They know what silver is now. They know what a silver eagle is now. They might not agree with me that we should stack silver, but they, have, they, they know what it is. And, and, and the same goes for all the other silver channels out on YouTube. Whether they agree that you should stack silver or not, they now are awake to what it is. And 
even if they're not a member of a YouTube channel, there's always the internet. Everybody has cell phones now. I can look up with a sil what a silver eagle is, how much it weighs. I can, I can look it all up. So don't sweat what people don't know. Don't appease the stupid. Okay? As your primary stack, if you're in the United States, stack silver eagles. That is just my opinion. You do what you need to do. If I was in Canada, my primary stack would be uh, maple leaves. If I was in Mexico, I'm not quite certain what their their coin is, as well as other countries. Uh, but do not, how do I say this? Do not base your, your investments. Do not stack for the 98% of the people who do not know what silver is. Because either way, whatever coin you buy, they're not going to know it anyway, right? So go with the one with the most recognition. Pay the extra dollar or so for the premium. It's okay. Um, I, I guarantee you, in the long run, you'll get that premium back. You really will. Um, anyway, you have a great day. I hope I answered all your questions. <coughs> I'm at work now. Time to time to be a slave. Slavery never ended. It was perfected.